In this video, we take a brief kind of rest from case classes and talk about something that is something of a more advanced Scala concept, but it winds up being significant for understanding something we're about to see dealing with case classes. And that is the topic of named and default arguments. So to help illustrate this, let's write a function that's going to evaluate polynomials. Uh, and we're just going to go for quadratic polynomials. So eval poly dot scala. And inside of here, we're going to def eval poly. So to evaluate a polynomial, and in fact, actually, let's call this eval quad, because it's only a quadratic. A quadratic has coefficients for a, b, and c, and then you need the x value that you're evaluating it at. So a is a double, b is a double, c is a double. Those are our coefficients. And the value we want to evaluate it at, x is also a double. And this whole thing returns a double to us. This really isn't a very complex function. It's just a times x squared plus b times x plus c. And, uh, it's very nice and short. But it helps us to illustrate some things about functions, and in particular the named and default values. So let's bring up a REPL and let's load in that file. And I have a typo in double. Let's try that again. There we go. So we can call eval quad and pass it 1, 0, 0, 2, which should give us 4. And indeed it does. When I call this, because we just wrote it, we know that these arguments are a, b, c, and x in that order. And it makes perfectly logical sense for a, b, and c to be in the order of a, b, and c. But I might forget which one of these is x. Okay, was x the first argument or is x the last argument? Did I put it before the a, b, c or did I put it after the a, b, c? For situations where that can be hard to remember, and of course type doesn't help us here, all four of these are, are numbers. Scala allows what are called named arguments. And so let's say I wanted to call this, but I couldn't remember where the x goes, and I decided I'm going to put it first. Well, this would be an incorrect call. But I can actually name my arguments. And I can tell Scala which values I want for each one. So I can tell it that I want x to be 2, a to be 1, b to be 0, and c to be 0. And despite the fact that they're in the wrong order, it doesn't matter. Okay, so this can be a nice, helpful thing occasionally. Closely related to this is the fact that we can provide default values for many of these uh, arguments. Uh, but back on the named, turns out that you can provide things in order. So I could have called this. This would be kind of a silly way to do it. Uh, actually, we could say x equals 2, c equals 0. I can provide unnamed arguments for the beginning of the argument list and then finish off with named arguments. And the first ones are basically used in their position. So 1 becomes a and 0 becomes b because of the location they are in the call. And the x and the c are take from their names. Obviously, if instead of making this c, I tried to make this a, then we have a problem because we've already bound something to the a up here and we can't do another one. What if I found that I was very frequently making linear functions, in which case my a is a 0? In fact, maybe I find that lots of times I have functions where only one of the coefficients is non-zero. Well, in that case, it would be nice to have what are called default values. So I can, on the arguments that have reasonable defaults, 
I can specify default values. Actually, let's, I need to load that back in. So I can call eval quad, and if I give it a single argument of just the x, that will work. I can't give it just a single value because that single value without anything specified is always going to be the a. But if I only provide an x here, it's going to use that as the x, and it will take the defaults for everything else. Now, if, if x had been first up here, I could call this with one argument, and that one argument would wind up being the x. But combining the defaults with the named, let's say I had a linear function, I can evaluate it at four, where b equals one, and so this is the function of just x, and I should get back four. So it uses the zero value for a and the zero value for c because they weren't specified, and the four for x and the one for b. So these named parameters, doing calls with named parameters, and note that you can do this on anything in Scala. We didn't have to do anything to the declaration to give it named parameters. We just haven't ever utilized that in writing our Scala code previously. But it was always an option if we know the names of the parameters that go in. The second thing is these defaults. The defaults are kind of new. We couldn't do them unless, you know, unless a function actually specifies a default. You can't leave it out. You have to provide a value for it. But when you combine them, it allows you to only specify the arguments that you really care about and to leave everything else out of the question. And that winds up impacting the next thing that we want to talk about with case classes.